First, let's open the demo Ergo sample diagram. You can find it in the RT Maps installation folder. Save this diagram in a folder with write access. We are going to create a macro component from this selection. This will be like a subdiagram. To do that, use the right click, then select Generate Macro Component from Selection. You will need a name for the macro component itself, and a name for the package. Save the RTMC file. You could also choose an already existing RTMC package for your new macro component. This will directly open the macro component model we have just created. We called it GNSS Decoder. Let's push the output pins a little further for a better view on the diagram. These input and output aliases are the interface of the macro component. More can be added using the buttons in the menu. That's what the macro component looks like in the main diagram. Please note the plus sign in the top left area. If you want to overlay a nice icon on this macro component, you need to add a doc folder next to the macro package. This doc folder should have the same hierarchy as the doc folder in the RT Maps installation directory. It should contain a folder, studio reference, and then subfolders, components, and resources. Let's clone the doc folder here. In the components section, we need an XML file describing the macro components that are available in the package. In the resources folder, we can place the icons. Let's open the XML file and take a look at the main parts. The icon file should be specified here. The alias is used in the studio to rename your component. It's not mandatory to use it. Back to the studio, this no documentation found message in the console should disappear. Let's restart the studio and reload our diagram. We now have a superb icon in our macro component. Now let's deal with how to expose internals. We need to edit the model again. Let's assume we want to expose to the upper levels, the force output when no fix property, in the macro component properties. If you click in the blank area, you can access to some special properties of the macro component. Properties and actions are the most commonly used. Let's click on the new button and fill in the alias and target. The target is the bottom component here. The only one that exposes that property in our case. That's it. The property is now exposed from the model. Save the model, and let's go back to the main diagram. If you click on the macro component, you will see the property we have just defined. Remember, the macro component you place on a diagram is an instance of the macro component model. So if you have multiple instances of the same model, the only way to have them behave differently is what we have just done. Here one component might have its property checked, and not the other. But if you change something in the model, it will affect all instances in the diagram. We have done it for properties, but you can do the same with actions. Note that when applying modifications to a macro component model, those will only be applied in the macro component instances when the model is saved. 